After a bit of car trouble at half five in the morning, we were finally on our way and still had plenty of time before our flight. The flight was a long 10 hours, so after we checked in at the hotel, we just had a nice early night. First official day on holiday, we decided to try out one of the buffet breakfasts right next to the pool. You can have that freshly made omelette made right in front of you. And then the rest of the day we spent exploring, having a bit of a pool day and trying out the lazy river. There are six restaurants within the resort, the French restaurant being the only one you need to pay extra for. With TUI you are eligible for three restaurants per week. We advise you book these with your concierge as soon as possible to make the most of the availability. Our first restaurant was the Steakhouse. We all thoroughly enjoyed ourselves and I've included our rating. Day 2 we decided to try out one of the other pools. And for lunch we decided to order from a nearby Italian restaurant a lovely fresh pizza. It only took about 10 minutes to make and you could choose exactly what you wanted on it. On day three we were all a little bit sunburnt somewhere so decided to take a break from the pools and visit the nearby shopping mall Playa del Carmen. 
It was only a 25 minute taxi ride from the hotel and only cost us 570 pesos or £20 one day. employees will recognise your hotel wristbands and use this as a way to build a relationship with you. They will say things such as they also work at the hotel, they recognise you from the bar, which of course is not true. Back at the resort for Taco Tuesday, we put on a Mexican night. This means a change of food, a band in the lobby and the entertainment that night. Day four, we were back at the pool for another chill day before getting dressed up in the evening for our next restaurant. The restaurant this night was the Brazilian, you had a plate of potato and salad and then they would bring around lots of different types of meats for you to choose from and you can have as much or as little as you like. Day 5 we were supposed to be doing an excursion but it got cancelled so instead we decided to try out the third and final pool before a fire show later on that evening at the beach. Day six, we decided to try out the free dolphin show on site before spending a bit more time at the pool and going to our third booked restaurant that night. Our third restaurant that we tried was the Thai restaurant. Those of us that like spicy food really enjoyed ourselves, but a couple of us that don't get on with spicy food as much really struggled, as you can tell by our reviews.
day seven was our first excursion. It started with a 25 minute bus ride to the cenote, which is a natural water source, so you can't wear any sun cream or bug spray. took a 15 minute bus ride to Acknell Beach. Here we are going to swim with turtles, the turtles being Elijah's favourite animal. This cost us £75 per person but if you don't want to do the cenote part you're very able to get a taxi to the beach yourself and find a guide who will take you out. Life jackets and snorkel masks are provided but we did bring our own snorkel masks you are also provided with a snack, but we were back at the hotel by one o'clock anyway to have lunch. Day 8 was another cool day where we were loving the swim up there. We also tried the on-site archery where we got six arrows each. Our next restaurant was the Mediterranean, where Ali was going to try an olive, but chicken it out.
On day nine, Cara and Ali had their spa day. It cost them £92 per person, where you got 45 minutes in their pool and steam rooms, one hour full body massage, and then another 45 minutes in the pools and steam room. They also include lunch. had a visit from a little snake at the theatre just before the entertainment started. On day 10 we got picked up by this beautiful bus for our next excursion, Explore. It took only 35 minutes to get there. There were lots of activities to do here including rafts, zip lines, underground expeditions and buggies. Cost us four hundred and thirty-five pounds and seventeen p for four adult tickets. We were able to get fifteen percent off the book in twenty-one days in advance, but they do have many different discount options to choose from. We started with the rafts and then the river swim, and the caves were not as dark as the videos make it. Helmets and life jackets were provided and you had to wear closed toe shoes. We did see some people wearing trainers and sandals but we definitely advise what we did which was beach shoes. We also advise you wear shorts for the zip wires.
unlimited food and drink were also included in the ticket price. to get the photo package. You just look for areas such as these and press buttons such as this and pose and all of your pictures will get sent to you clearly. Here are some of our favourites from the whole day. did our Swimming with the Whale Sharks excursion which sadly had been cancelled a few times before. It was an hour and a half drive and then another hour and a half boat ride out to the area. We had heard beforehand that this boat ride can make people who don't normally get seasick quite ill so as someone who does get seasick quite easily I bought sea bands and anti-sickness tablets. But the boat ride out there was actually okay. It was once we slowed down to look at the whale sharks that everyone started to feel a bit rubbish. We sadly were very unlucky and didn't find any whale sharks, which they can never ensure. But you do also get a stop off on a beautiful island where lunch is included and also get to do a bit of snorkeling. We did also have a bit of engine trouble, so we were a little bit late getting to the island and actually run out of time to do the snorkeling but we have been told that this is one of the best excursions to do if you get to do everything and see everything. In total, this cost us £180 per person, plus a $10 or 200 pesos per person docking and transportation fee, which you paid once you got to the boat. Due to our engine trouble though, we did get a little bit of compensation. No compensation for not seeing the bell sharks, if they can never guarantee it. Day 12 was mine and Elijah's turn to have our spa day before meeting back up at the pool and getting dressed up for our next restaurant, which was the Jasmine.
decided to finally take our snorkels down to the beach. Every Friday night they do shite shirt night which is where you just wear big colourful shirts. So we wore these to our last restaurant, The Italian, before going to the sky bar where they were having a silent disco. After breakfast we just chilled in our rooms for a bit and did some last minute packing before checkout. And then that was our holiday over, ready for our nighttime flight home.